this video is all about finding the angle A and B. Now, when you, we are given the area of triangle ABC as 25, 25.3 divided by 2 centimeters square, why A is equal to 5 centimeters, C is 60, 60 degrees. Now, let's look for the angle A and B. Now, for us to look for angle A and B, now let's draw the triangle. You have the triangle to be like this. Now, let's see your A is here. Okay, you have A, B, C. And this C is 60. So, this is small C. This is small A, this is small B. Now, now let's now draw a line. Let's draw a line from here, from B. From B down to this place. Now, and that line should be perpendicular to line AC. Now, if it's perpendicular, that means this is the height of the triangle with respect to, with respect to the perpendicular line on line AC. So now, that means the area of the triangle A. B, C is equal to half times, now the A, C now becomes the base in this case, times the height, the base times height. And you have half times, the base is B times what? Height. Now, since we have gotten this formula now let's um, write it in terms of a and b or let's write it in terms of the variables that was given now we are given a we are given we, have, we are given c angle c and side a now we need we, we are given the area of the triangle. Now let's now what we're going to do next is to find the height in terms of A and the angle given. So now what we're going to do and that implies that triangle B D C is a right it's a right angle triangle. Since let me just say since triangle APD is a right angle triangle. Since since triangle ABD is a right angle triangle, then then using Using this acronym, SOCATUA, you will not see sine of this angle C, which is given, is equal to, now, what side is opposite to, the, to this angle C? Is BD. BD is opposite to this angle. So, you see, sine is equal to opposite all over hypothesis. Now, which side is opposite to this triangle? Side BD. And BD is what? Height. Now, all over hypothesis. The hypothesis of that triangle, that right angle, right angle triangle is BC, which is what? A. Now, that means that sine C 
all over 1 is equal to height all over a. If we cross multiply, that means height is equal to what? a sine c. Now, let's call this equation 2. And while this is equation 1, area of triangle a, b, c. Now, that is equation 1. Now, let's now go to the next page. The next page we say substituting substituting h equal to a sine c into equation one. Now so a sine c so wherever we see h which is the height we replace it with a sine c so that means the area of triangle A, B, C will not be half times A, B, sine C. So we're going to employ this triangle to solve for B, but B was not given. So now for us to solve for B, for us to make B the subject of formula, we now needed to make B Okay, for us to make B the subject of the formula, let me just rewrite this thing in another form. I can say half A B sine C is equal to area of triangle A B C. Now, what, what I was going to do is for me to make B the subject of formula, I need to now isolate B. So for me to isolate B, I will divide both sides by half A sine C. So in order to knock off all the variables and constant that is that is on the left hand side. So now I will divide what I did what I did to the left hand side, I, that is what I also have to do to the right hand side. So now I will also divide it with the same value. So now, this half will cancel out this half. A will cancel out A. Sine C will cancel out sine C. You now have B left on the left-hand side. Then on the right-hand side, I can now say area of triangle A, B, C, all over 1, divided by A sine c all over 2. So this can also be written as area of triangle a b c all over 1 times now if I want to change this sign this division sign I reverse this so I have 2 all over a sign c. Now it now means that b is equal to 2 times the area of triangle A, B, C, all over, all over what? A sine C. So, now let's now, um, let's now impute the given values. Now, we have two times the area the given value for the area is 25 root 3 divided by 2 all over the a is 5 centimeter then you have sine the c is 60 degree so that means we now have this 2 we cancel out this 5 cancels itself 1 5 here is 5 so what we now have is 5 root 3 divided by sine 60. Now, you know that sine 60, now, if you have an equilateral triangle where the sides are 2, 2, and 2 here. Now, equilateral triangle where all the sides are equal, the angles are also equal. And now, you know the sum of angle in a triangle is 180. 
So since they are equal, if you divide 180 by 3, you have an equal value which you add. And 180 divided by 3 is 60. So all the place will now be 60. Now, if we bisect this line in such a way that it will not give us a perpendicular here, you will now notice that we now have a value here. Now, if you now here will now be 30 degree. Here also is 30 degree. Now here, since these sides are equal, this bisector, this angle bisector, we divide this line equally. So here should be one one. So since here is one one, you know according to Pythagoras theory, you have the hypothesis. Now if you want to get this side. Let's say this side is what? A. Now, you now say A square will be equal to the hypothesis square minus this side square, which is adjacent. Hmm? Now, let's say that one is opposite. Let me say opposite square equal to hypothesis square minus adjacent square. So now you have two square minus one square. So this is four minus 1. So the opposite to that angle now will not be angle 60. Will not be now opposite square will not be 3. So the, if you take the square root of both sides you now have OP opposite equal to root 3. So that means here is what root 3. So if here is root 3, sine 60 is what? Using Sokatoa. Using Sokatoa is opposite all over hypothesis. So, means that sine 60 is equal to what? The opposite to this 60 is root 3 divided by what? 2. So, that means sine 60 is root 3 divided by 2. So, you have 5 root 3 divided by root 3 divided by 2. So you now have 5 root 3 all over 1 divided by root 3 all over 2. So this is the same thing as saying 5 root 3 all over 1 times you want to change the sign here, you reverse this so you have 2 all over root 3. This where root 3 will cancel each is itself then now 2 times 5 is what 10. So now that means B is equal to what? 10 centimeter. Now, since we have gotten B to be 10 centimeter, now let's draw the triangle again. You have A, you have A, B, and C. Now, here is 60, here is C, here is your A, is 5. We now have our B to be 10. Now, we needed this value to be able to find these angles. So for us to get that, we now need to use the cosine rule. We now need to use the cosine rule. And the cosine rule for this that is unknown will now be C square is equal to, now you have A square plus B square minus 2AB cos. The angle which this C is opposite to C. So now let's now start. So now you have A which is 5 square plus B which is 10 square minus 2 times 5 times 10 cos what 16. So you now have this to be 25 plus 100 plus okay minus sorry minus this will just give us, okay, let me just go straight to the point. So now, 2 times 5 times 10 will give you 100. So, cos 60. So, cos 60 is half, but let's now show how it is half. Now, here is 60. We have proved that here is root 3. There is no need to repeat it again. Here is 1, here is 2. Now, cos 
60. If you use soccer two, you know you know that cos. Let me write it here. Cos 60. Cost of an any angle is adjacent all over hypothesis. So the adjacent to that angle is what one. And cos 60 is one divided by what two. So that means it's half. So we have 125 minus 100 times what half. So give you, this will give us 125 minus 50 will give us what 75. So C square is equal to 75. So C now taking the square root of both sides, you now have C to be equal to the square root of 75. And 75 now, let's look at the factors of 75 that has a perfect square. So the factor of 75 that has a perfect square is 25 times. 3. So 25 is a perfect square. So now when I say the square root of 25 times 3. So now, and again, um, the sword, sword rule, if you have m times n, square root of m times n is the same thing as the square root of n times the square root of m. So we apply this, you have square root of 25 times the square root of 3. So this will give us 5 root 3. So that means C is equal to 5 root 3. Now we've gotten C. Now let's also draw the triangle again. We have, okay, let me just... The changeable is here A, B, C. So the A is equal to 5. The B is equal to 10. The C is equal to 5 plus 3. And here is 60. Now, we need to find B and what A. Now, we can use the sine rule or the cosine rule to find a and b so but i want to use the sine rule so now using the sine rule now you have you now have the sine rule is that you have sine a all over the side opposite it which is a all over a is equal to sine B all over the side opposite, which is also B equal to sine C all over the side opposite, it, which is this. So this is opposite to this angle here, which is C. Now, since we have gotten our C, and now let's start with angle A. So we have we have to make use of these two. So now you have sine. A all over A, which is 5, is equal to sine 60, which is this, divided by C, which is 5 root 3. Now, this 5 will cancel this 5. Now, if you look at sine, now you have 60, sine 16. Here is 60, here is root 3, here is 2, here is 1. So we don't need to go back to prove that again. So now sine 60 is what? This root 3 is opposite to this angle all over the hypothesis. So now, so sine 60 will now be root 3 all over 2 divided by root 3. Now we have cancelled out the 5. So that means sine A is equal to root 3 all over 2 divided by root 3. And this is the same thing as saying root 3 divided by 2 divided by root 3. So which is equal to root 3 divided by 2 times 1 all over root 3. This will cancel out. You now have 1 all over 2. 
So sine a is equal to half. That implies that a is equal to what? Now, if you look at this, here is starting. And sine 30 is equal to the opposite to 30, angle 30 is 1. So you have 1 all over 2, which is the hypothesis. So now that means A is what? 30 degree. So A is what? 30 degree. And this is an acute angle. So you don't need to go for that. It's an acute angle. So the answer is 30. So now let's look at the next one to find B. So we have sine B all over B equal to sine C all over C. So that means sine B all over B is what? 10. B is 10 equal to sine 60 all over C, which is 5 root 3. Now, since this is 5 root 3, now the B will now be we have sine B all over 10. Let's see. You know, the B, now if you check, the C is 5 root 3, while A is 5. Now, the C is more than this. Sorry, it, the C is more than A. So, the angle C sh should be more than the angle A. Now, for B, B is more than both of them. So, the angle B should be more than the angle A or the angle C. So let's look at it now. Now we have sine 60. We have gotten this before, which is root 3 all over 2 divided by 5 root 1 3. So this can be also be written as root 3 all over 2 divided by 5 root 3 all over 1. So this is the same thing as saying root 3 all over 2 times 1 all over 5 root 3. So this is the same thing as saying this will cancel out this. You now have 1 all over 10. So that means sine B all over 10 is equal to 1 all over 10. This will cancel out this. And it implies that sine B is equal to 1. So, for sine B to be equal to 1, now you know that if you draw a line, let's say we draw a line, here is 90, and here is 90, here should be 0. Now, if here is 90, and here is 90. Here should be 0. Here will be 1. And here will be what? 1. Now, it means that sine 90 is equal to what? Sine 90 is equal to 1. Sine. And zero is equal to one zero from here. So because sine ninety is equal to one because the one that, that is the, uh, the opposite to this angle divided by the hypothesis. So that is why sine ninety is equal to one. So now that means B is equal to what ninety degree. So you know. When here is zero, this the length here should be zero. Because when the angle here is zero, it means that the these two, if it is a wood, 
if it's a wood, it has it has flattened. It has it is now parallel to each other. It's just like a parallel line. These two lines now becomes like a parallel line. So the angle between them is zero. While you have here one, here one. So you know, so now that is just it. that is how I come about this drawing. So now angle P is equal to what 90. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching to the end. Have a nice day.